Okay, I'm Miss Cindy, and welcome to Kids Paint Night. We're going to be doing a flower painting today. So, have your blank canvas going this direction. And I'm going to take a large flat brush. the extra water off your brush and I'm going to put some white on my paper plate and some yellow on my paper plate okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take white and some yellow want it kind of pale so not really really yellow and we're gonna paint across I'm just starting in the middle just going back and forth I would leave about three or four inches down at the bottom that doesn't have yellow on it. If you go a little past, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be covering that part up with green anyway. So you can certainly go ahead and go lower if you would like. And then go about three or four inches from the top. That's probably about far enough. Okay. Then you go ahead and wipe your brush off. Clean it in the water. And we're going to need a little bit of purple now. I'm going to put a little bit of purple on my plate. Now remember, the purple is very dark, so we don't want to add a lot of purple. So we're going to take mostly white with a little bit of purple, and we're going to cross the top. Sometimes it helps if you do that to get the edges and then go back and go across because we want it to go across. We want the streaks of color in there. That's why we didn't mix our colors ahead of time. So we want the different streaks of colors. Now as you work your way down, we want to kind of do it oval.
just go back and forth and the oval. And then it's up to you how much purple you want in your sky. But you can take a little bit of just the purple if you don't have enough streaks. And you can add a little bit, kind of work it in a little bit. going to do is going to be the bottom down here now. So we're going to need a little green for that. So I'm going to put a little green on my plate. I'm actually going to put three different little drops of green on here because we're going to need three colors of green eventually. That one and another little blob of it. Okay, this way we'll be ready later. And we're going to need a little bit of blue. You can try to get it in there without getting a bunch of green in your blue. So we're going to mix a little bit of blue with our green because we want to make a darker green. So you kind of have to judge it on how much you're going to need. That's a little better, almost. A little bit more. Okay, so now we have our dark green, and we have medium green, and then we're going to change that one later. Okay, so now we want to just paint the very bottom. Not a whole bunch, not in you know, a way up. Just probably about that far or so. your brush off if you have too much green of the dark stuff on there, which I did. Alright, so now I'm going to take the regular green with nothing added to it, and I'm going to kind of cover that a little bit more. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush, actually. Okay. And now you're just going to kind of do a little crosshatch pattern. Because we don't want it to be completely smooth for the green part, because we want to look like it's the ground. The different greenery growing underneath the flowers. So you can just make like little crosshatch X's. Just kind of blend the two together. You kind of overlap a little. Up higher. Oopsie. A little bit of water. Okay. If you ever get water on your canvas like that, try to hurry up and grab a paper towel and mop it up. Because otherwise it'll lift up the paint that's already there and you'll have a white spot. Okay. Alright, so you can just do it like that. Go up about that high. You can have some parts sticking up a little higher. See how some of the yellow shows underneath? You kind of like it that way. 
All right, now what we're gonna do is we have the dark green, we have the regular green. Now we need to add to this green. We're gonna add either a little bit of white or a little bit of yellow. It's up to you. I am going to add a little white, which actually that's way too much green. So it's better if you add, make a little pile of white and then add a little bit of green to it. Because the green is so dark. And you can even experiment and add a little bit, since you added it ready to the white, you can add a little bit of the yellow to it as well to change the color more towards yellowy green. Just as long as you have three color greens that you are happy with. So see, we still have the dark green, the regular green, and then we have the light green. So now what you're going to do is you're going to start actually with the dark green. So I'm going to clean my brush off. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the dark green, a little bit on your brush, and you're going to make leaves. So you're just going to kind of make little scoops with your brush to make leaves. So you just kind of want to add them all over along the bottom. Make sure you turn your brush sometimes so you get them going both directions. You just kind of want them all over. You want them more towards the middle. You can have some towards the outer sides, but keep them mostly towards the middle. And you can overlap them too. We just want to make it really full down here. And we're starting out with the darker color. And then we're going to work our way up to the lighter color. you ever need to stop and let it dry for a while, go ahead and do that. I just can't do it on the videotape. Okay, so now that we're done with the darker one, we're going to go back. You can either wipe off your brush on your plate or you can go wash it off again. And then we're going to do some of the lighter medium greens, lighter than the other one. Like I said, you can overlap because we're just trying to make it all full. And don't forget to change your direction of your brush. Some of the lighter ones down where the bottom is dark just like you wanted some of the darker ones up higher okay so 
that's good with the medium one. So I'm going to wash that off. Now I'm going to take the light one and make some more. Might not show up like the light ones when you're doing them up higher. But it will down where it's darker. Where the green is darker. So you're just kind of highlighting everything. Everybody's is going to look different. My second one's looking different than my first one. It's perfectly fine. even go back and fill in more and just make them how you want you can make skinnier ones like using the side of the brush like I am okay so now you need to make three stems for your flowers so you can use the medium or the lighter color and I would do the first one first so just start kind of around there and just kind of go up don't want it real wide. It's about like that. Now the second one is going to go this way, but it's going to have like a little bit of a curve to it. Kind of like that. Okay. Wipe that off. Sharper line. And then this one is going to go this way. You don't have to actually touch down at the bottom. Just be close to each other. And then... Like that. So there's the three stems for the flowers. Now I would suggest you let everything dry before you go on. Obviously I can't, but I would suggest you do that. I'm running out of room on my paper plate too. Okay, so first we're gonna make the petals of the this one might be a little too wide. I might have to switch to a smaller brush, but I'm going to try it first. So first we're going to make the petals in just blue. So just take your blue. I'm going to move this actually a little bit. I want to get my arm in it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're not going to go all the way down. I'm going to leave some of your stem showing, but just kind of make little blue petals around the stems. Actually, that works out good. Okay, so you just kind of want to go like this. And fill in some little stems, uh, little petals of around your stem for your flower. You can decide how full you want your flower to be. If you want it skinnier. Normally the flowers are kind of wider at the bottom and then get narrow more towards the top. So I'm going to make a little wider over here. So just kind of overlap them a little bit so you can see each petal. Then I'm going to do the same in the next one. Don't line them up perfectly one another, you know, next to each other. And you can always go back and add more once you're done with this part and you see spots that you missed that you'd like to add some in, of course. Turn this a little bit this way. Take a little bit of blue and put it on my plate. Just a touch 
screen somewhere. Okay, so now I'm going to take a little white and a little blue and mix it together till you end up with a lighter blue. You don't have to mix it perfect because it's good when it's got the streaks in it too. Now you're going to do the same thing. Like I said, I would pause the video and let it dry for a little bit before I go on. But then do the same thing that you just did with the dark ones, the dark with the regular natural blue, and then make some light colored petals with your next color blue. You want to kind of see the different colors. You don't want to like cover everything up. try to let yours dry a little in between just so your colors don't all run together like mine are kind of trying to okay so once you have some of the lighter blue down you then can take some white and do the same thing It's got a little blue in it that'll look good too. It'll look like little accents on the petal. And then make a few of these lighter ones down further as well. I wouldn't go crazy with the lighter ones down too far. But just the little highlights here and there. If you have too much blue getting in it, just wash off your brush and start again with just the white. with the blue again right off the bat. Yeah, I left a few empty places there so I could add a lighter color. All right. I think that's good enough. I put this in the instructions, but I'm going to take a little bit of the dark, and with our stems, I'm going to add a little bit of the dark color in there as well, just because it kind of highlights it a little bit. All right, and you can just go around and fix up your flowers. You want to still add more petals, like I said, I would let it dry for a while and then go back and look. Like I see spots right now that I want to add a little bit. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, we have a light one there. Alright, so you can just go ahead and finish yours whenever you want. If you want to let it dry for a little and then go back to see if you need any more. I see another spot I want to add some. Right there. Okay, and if I don't stop now, I'll keep doing it. All right, so you are all set. Don't forget to put your initials on it, and I'll see you next week for next week's painting. Thanks for coming.